Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the Budget vs. Actual spreadsheet template. First, let's go into the settings page. It allows you to select your language, the year you want to report on, and the month you want to start your report. It also allows you to set color coding rules. For example, here, if our income is above our budget, the light will turn green. But if we set this as 90%, it will turn green if it reaches above 90% of our target. Equally, it will turn green if our expense is under 90% of our target expense. Let's go into the translation tab. Here, we can see we have three languages available. English, French, and Portuguese. The section Other will allow you to set up a new language. Simply translate all the expressions listed, go back into the Settings tab, and select the Other option. Let's move on to the Categories section. Here is where you can enter up to 100 income categories as well as 100 expense categories and their corresponding values. Let's start with the income. The first step is to unhide the empty rows. This will allow us to add more categories. Let's create a new category we will call product A. Great. We will then enter the actual income versus budget per month starting from the month we entered earlier in the settings page. Let's say our target is 300 for the whole year. Great. As for the actual income, we can say that in January we were under target at 280. In February we just reached a target at 300. Then let's say we crossed the target and averaged around 350 the following months. Awesome. Now that we are done adding our new income category, we can go back and hide the empty rows and then sort from A to Z. Perfect. This will allow us to have a clear and organized report. The process is the same for the expense section. We're now ready to look at the results. Firstly, the budget versus actual report. This report is an image of your income and expenses for a selected month with the filter being right here. We can choose a specific month or choose year to date or year total or even a quarter. For example, let's select the month of January. The header gives us an overview of total income versus budget and total expense versus budget as a percentage. As you can see, we have exceeded our income target and are at 111%. The little headlight indicates whether we are in the red or in the green based on the parameter we set up in the settings page. Obviously, we're exceeding the 90% we have set up and are therefore green. Let's look at our newly created product A income category. We have our actual income budget income, and the difference, actual versus budget. We then have a progress bar indicating the actual percentage versus budget, which is 93%, as we're slightly under target. And finally, the green headlight indicates we are above our 90% target. Right underneath the income table is the expense table, 
with the same information displayed. Let's move on to the fourth and final section of the dashboard, the reports. It is divided in five dashboards, the first one being Report Overview Monthly. The dashboard is split in two sections, the incomes on the left and the expenses on the right. Let's focus on the income. It first gives an overview of the actual income, the income budget, and the difference over the whole period. It also indicates the percentage of actual versus budget. Further down, you can see a bar chart indicating the total income per month and monthly target. Let's scroll down to the final part of the report. It details the actual and budget for each month, as well as their difference, percentage actual versus budget, and if we are on target with the headlight. Let's look at the second report, the report overview quarterly. It is very similar to the monthly report, except that instead of grouping by month, it groups the incomes and expenses by quarters. The third report is the income and expenses. As the name indicates, this report compares income versus expenses, at first overall, then per month, also indicated the profit or loss. The income chart allows you to drill down to a specific income category and visualize the actual income, target income, difference and percentage difference as an overall and per month. Let's look into our newly created category, Product A. As you can see, we're initially under budget in January, reached our target in February, and we're exceeding the target for the following months. The fourth and final report is the expense chart. It is very similar to the income chart, except it allows you to drill down to a specific expense category. That's it. You know everything you need to know about our budget versus actual spreadsheet template. You're ready to start using it now.